Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis Cap The opening bounce. Ryder totally outclassed in that contest. The bouncing ball is controlled. Winds. He chooses to play on. Goes for his 50. Cleary looking to make them pay for that turnover. Jams it on the boot now. Neil Marks on the run. Let's hope the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. I don't know if you can see it from back. He's a long kick. Westhoff claims it. Don't take too long lining up the goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. 30 meters from home. Dixon taking a chance at goal. Shook up a goal for the power. That's his first. Dixon puts them. Puts boot to bowl. Tabernak marks the ball, lining it up with the goal now. Shot by Tabernak. All eyes are watching. Goal to the Dockers. He sinks his first goal. And several tick. Mundy lines it up. Going for goal number one. A mark by Tabernak. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less... As a result, the opposition are winning the match. Effective hit out there. Wines onto the ball. Lucky bounce collected. Westhoff boots it. It was all his. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Just fell through. He sinks his first goal. In the game, footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. He lines it up with the goal. Kirsten shoots for goal. That's a goal. Anything that goes that far needs a stewardess. Takes that one strongly. Only a matter of time now. As cool as a prize narrow as he lines up for this shot. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Kirsten, man, we're back at it. Just keep going. Everybody gets better if they keep at it. Ryder punches it. Westhoff onto the ball. He gives the ball a mighty roost. A good mark under the circumstances. Did you back him in from here, Richo? It's an absolute gimme from this angle. The power had one to their tally. It's just so tough. He takes massive hits week after week, and he just keeps getting up and shaking them off. He's so durable. Kept his composure then. Wingard with the kick. Kept his composure then. Lining it up with the goal now. Dixon lines up. Dixon kicks for goal. It's on its way. Dixon nails the crucial goal. Puts boot to ball. Kept his composure then. Fife with the kick. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Gray with handball. Monfries slams the ball to his boot. Plenty of space for a very easy one. He spears the ball. Here's a chance for Dixon. Dixon aiming for the goals. For that way, get a goal. He's giving all he's got this match. That's... He plays on. <clears throat> Choose to kick it. Off the ground. He's running hot, Richard. Yeah. Pierce sends the ball on its way. Great mark. Opportunity for Walters. Has it now. He gains possession. He's racking up possessions. Ryder gets the tap. Great sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Suckers the ball away. Montreux dishes it off by hand. Westhoff starts in. His shadow beside him. Where else would it be? It all depends on the side. Takes the mark all by himself. 20 meters out. 25 meters out. Dixon with a kick and goal. That's a very well executed goal. Four goals and no sign of... Sanderlands has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Sending it on its way. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. McCarthy with the kick. Kirsten kicks it. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. The Dockers teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. Ingenuity plus courage plus work equals miracles. Johnson comes in like a wrecking ball. Scoops up the ball. Hits the running man. 
Goal to Port Adelaide. That's number three. This game can still go either way. Nice bounce. Sandlin's timing terrible. He's letting his messages before the beat. Gathers the ball, booted by Wines. The umpire calls advantage. A desperate kick there. Gray catches it. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Having a big day going for goal number four. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Kicks the goal. Pittard choosing to play on. He's a long kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Jams it on the boot. Pierce takes an uncontested mark. Kicked in a flurry. Great mark under pressure. Kirsten going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Kirsten. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. Mundy with handball. A delicate kick from Walters. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. And his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He scoops the ball off the ground. Spurk has seen plenty of the footy. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. With the ball now, he receives the handball. Dixon has seen plenty of the footy. In this, Sandlin runs past and gets the ball. He gives the ball away. Monday Campbell is short. Subban feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Fremantle and one to their tally. Subban puts them further in. Bite Pierce. Sockers the ball away. Jonas gathers. The loose ball picked up. Passed by McCarthy. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Tabana going for... The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Looks like he panicked there. Marked by McCarthy. Hands it out to open space. Jonas clockers it. Final scores are 82 to 55.